Hey everyone, this tutorial aims to explain to you how you can use OpenAI in combination with Yoast SEO to create suggestions for your meta descriptions or for your post titles or anything else you do with your WordPress posts using our plugin WP Webhooks. To show you first of all how it works and what it actually does, I created a, a demo website here which has a simple blog post with a demo title and as you can see within Yoast, we don't have a meta description available as of now. So what we want to do is, we I, I set up already an example that basically, depending on your post title, automatically creates a meta description using OpenAI. To demonstrate it, we're gonna change the title to something we want to have the blog post about. In our case, uh, let's assume we want to write an article about how to install the Yoast SEO plugin. So I'll just add the title to it, how to install Yoast SEO and based on that title we will now start generating a meta description using OpenAI. So once I click update we have our workflow running using WP Webhooks which in this time is now communicating with OpenAI to get an example available and now once I refresh you will see in here we have a meta description available. Right now you see it's too long so in case I don't like it um, I can regenerate it again. I'm going to show you that in a second. First of all, we check what, he, what it wrote. So it says, learn how to install and set up the Yoast SEO plugin and optimize your site for organic traffic with this step-by-step -step guide. So it's already very good, right? So I can basically leave it like this. Uh, it's within their range. It looks okay. So we can basically go ahead with it. But if I say I want to have a, a new one, we just remove it and I will just resave that post. And I'm just going to wait a second as well until you, until OpenAI answered. And when I refresh again, we scroll down and now you can see we have a different kind of um, suggestion here. In our case, it's wrapped in quotes, which doesn't matter for now as we can fix that later on as well. But you can see what happens. Let us show you how to harness the power of your steel to maximize your website's visibility and increase traffic. So this basically, basically works with any kind of plugins. If we say, for example, we do the same thing with Elementor. We can, we can recreate the same sentence and it will automatically happen for Elementor. Just to give you uh, a quick um, demonstration of that, I'm just resaving, resaving the post and I'm refreshing the web page. So you see it's how to install Elementor. Just takes a moment and here you go. Learn how to install Elementor Page Builder in minutes with this easy step-by-step -step guide. Get started with Elementor today. So it basically automatically creates these titles using OpenAI. And now we are going to dive in how this exactly works. First of all, you need to install two plugins to make it work. And the first one is, of course, Yoast SEO and as well our WP Webhooks Pro plugin, which you can find on wp-webhooks.com. The first thing we need to do is to install the integrations within WP Webhooks Pro. So we first go to WP Webhooks, we go to integrations, and usually you need to activate your license in the license setting here. Once that is done, you will also be able to enter that screen and can install whatever you need. I've already set everything up here. So I just click on install and you see what integrations are installed. So basically you need the OpenAI integration, you need the WordPress integration and the Yoast SEO integration. These three integrations are sufficient for creating the meta descriptions dynamically. Once you installed all of the integrations as seen here, you can head over to automation flows, all automations, and you can create a new automation here. This was the one I used for testing. I just deactivated it now. So we are basically just recreating that whole workflow directly here within this video so I can really go and follow it up step by step. Once you click create workflow, you can add a title for it. And we just name it create dynamic SEO meta description. So now after we just click create and it creates this flow here and once we click on the title or the edit link we will see a screen that looks similar to this one which asks us first of all to add a trigger. So in our case we definitely want to have a trigger and it is whenever a post is saved and there is no meta description giving, uh, given within Yoast we want to automatically create it via the OpenAI. So to do that, we first click on select a trigger. We select the WordPress integration we installed earlier. And within here, we search for update post. So post updated, we click continue, which basically means this trigger will fire whenever a post was updated. To be more specific, we can also select specific post types. So you can basically 
do the same thing for whatever post types you would like. In our case, we just select posts as it's the standard post that we created earlier. We don't want to fire it on specific post statuses, but what we want to do is we want to set it, set the fire only once per instance to true or to activate that button. What that basically means is since um, multiple WordPress plugins from other third-party providers can update a post in the same time again and again to kind of apply their own custom code, it would cause these specific plugins to fire multiple times within the safe, same saving process. And since we actually just want to fire it once, we set this to true. So we basically don't have duplicate web hook calls. After we did that, we click continue and save fields. And now it is already time to test the trigger. In our case, I already have some logs available, which we can use. And um, if you don't have any logs available, what you basically do is you just head into the post um, in any kind of post that you would like to test test with, and you update it. Once you update it, it will create a log within WP Webhooks Pro, and you can select it from the dropdown, which brings all of the available information from that post, including the meta values and so on, into the flow. After I set, I click Finish Trigger, which basically sets up the whole payload for that trigger. And now, basically, every time a post is updated that is from the post type post, this specific trigger will fire or this specific workflow will fire and will continue. Since we just want to make sure it only fires whenever the meta description is empty, so once it was created, we don't want to create it again, we will set some conditionals. So we click on the conditionals and within here, we click on the plus sign. And as an input, we select from the WordPress dropdown the Yoast meta description. Once I search for it, we will find it under meta desk which is this one, Yoast VPCO meta description. This basically is the meta value that the Yoast SEO plugin uses to actually set that data inside of the database of WordPress. So I'll select this value and we only want to fire it when it is empty. So otherwise uh, we, we, we don't want to fire this specific flow. So whenever this, whenever this Yoast meta description is empty, then we can fire this trigger and continue the workflow. Once that is set up, we can just click set conditionals, which sets them up for that specific trigger. What we did so far is to basically allow that workflow to fire on our terms that we just configured within the trigger settings. Now the next goal is to actually send that post title that we got from that update and ask OpenAI to create the dynamic meta description for us. To do that, we simply click on the add an action button and we select OpenAI. And within the actual action, we select the create complete completion endpoint. Once that's done, we click continue. And now we are prompted to fill in various values from the OpenAI. No worries, it looks complicated, but it's very simple as most of the values can be within their default values. So we don't need to customize anything. The only thing we need to do is we need to add an authentication template. I already did that here, so it will be visible here. If you haven't, you can simply go to authentication just open that in a new tab and you can see here, create template. You can name it and then you can add your um, OpenAI credentials and click create. Then you're basically able to add that API key from within OpenAPI. I can just demonstrate that for you so you see how it looks. Mm, demo credentials. So I click create, it's created here. We can go into it and here I'm able to add an API key. The API key you can get within OpenAI once you click on your profile, API keys, and create new secret key. This is the key that you can then add into your authentication template here. The organization ID can be set in case you have multiple organizations within your account to make sure you are basically billing the right organization. Once all of that is done, simply click Save Template and head back into your flow and then select your authentication template here. In our case, we take the Open API key template because this is the right one that I used earlier. And as a model, we are using right now the latest one, which is text-davinci-003. And within the prompt, we basically ask the AI what exactly we want to do. I already created an example for that. That is what you will find within the description of either the video or the blog post or wherever you are watching this video. So it looks something like this, which says, write an engaging open graph description for Google SEO based on this sentence with a maximum of 140 characters and then it should basically output the meta description afterward. So everything we need to do is you simply can copy the sentence, paste it here, and at the end of this line, 
you can click into it and you will see a dynamic dropdown appears, which contains all of the data that was sent within the trigger. So it's basically the post that was updated. So you can either search for it within the search field or you can select the post title right from here because this is what we need. So we basically want to ask OpenAI to create that specific description with a maximum of 140 characters based on the post title that we just created. And it should output it after the meta description text. Once you select that, you can simply scroll down and adjust the max amount of tokens, which basically means that uh, you want to define the amount of response that you want to get, if you can um, interpret it like this. So in our case, we are going to set it to 500 because our description will be a maximum 140 characters. So 500 tokens should be definitely sufficient for that. This basically means that uh, this is basically a, a reference to how much you can get billed with one OpenAI call. Once you scroll down, you don't need to adjust anything else. You just head to the end and you click continue and save fields. And then you are able to already test the action. What we want to do here is we want to select the fire webhook action, which basically allows us to send a real request using the data from the post and what we set up within the action settings and send that request to OpenAI and create the specific request for us. So we are going to do that here. So right now OpenAI is creating the sentence. And as you can see here, it provides us a sentence which says, learn how to quickly and easily install Elementor, the popular page building plugin with a step-by-step -step tutorial. So it basically created this dynamic sentence based on the post we created earlier. And we want to now use this meta description to actually send it back to the post as this is what's missing. So for now, everything looks fine. We get the proper response back, which means our API key is working. OpenAI is creating the sentence. And this lets us to just finish the action. What our workflow does so far is whenever the post is updated, we will take that post data, we will send it to OpenAI and ask OpenAI to create us a meta description for it. Now, the last step that is necessary is to save that meta description back into the WordPress post that was just updated so we can use it from there and adjust it based on our needs. To do that, we click again on Add Action, we click on Yoast SEO, and within here you can choose what kind of values you would like to update. I'm going to choose the post SEO data, which is the main data. You can basically also add multiple actions in here and update multiple ones for Yoast if you want to update Twitter, Facebook, or any other custom values. And within here, you can either select a post, but we want to have it dynamically, so we click on Toggle Text, we click in here, we open from the dropdown the WordPress trigger, and within here you can see the ID for the post that was updated. So we simply select it, which means now this post will always be updated based on the Yoast SEO we are going to set in here. Since the title is required, what we are going to do is we click into here. Within WordPress, we also select the title, which is basically the same title that was updated anyway, so it doesn't change anything in our case. What we can also do is we can, for example, customize the, the title depending on what OpenAI suggests. So you can basically make another action call to OpenAI to ask it to create a title for you. For the actual description that we created, you can click into the description field. And within here, we can now use the response that was sent back from OpenAI. So we click on the OpenAI key or the, the tab. And within here, you can either scroll down and you will find the text here. This is basically what OpenAI sent back to us. So this is what we are going to select and we don't need to adjust anything else. You can basically also extract the focus keyword using OpenAI by making just a separate action call. And you can do the same as well for keywords, etc., etc. In our case, we only want to demonstrate it with a description. So we don't change anything and we just click continue and save fields. Now in the last step, we basically need to test that action. So I'm selecting again fire webhook actions to test it with a real time. And before sending it, I'll head into the post. I'll just refresh it here to see what's written right now. So right now it's written, learn how to install Elementor page build in minutes, blah, blah, blah. So when I head back and I actually fire the action, it will update that post SEO data. So now when I head into the post, it should represent the new value. So it says, learn how to install the Elementor page builder. When I refresh, it says, learn how to quickly and easily install Elementor, the popular page builder plugin with a step-by-step -step tutorial. So we basically successfully created the connection within that workflow. And once I click Finish Action, we are nearly ready to go. Now we only need to activate this specific workflow, click Save, and that's it. What we achieved now is that whenever a post is updated, we are 
taking that post, we are sending the data to OpenAI. We ask OpenAI for the sentence that we defined within the prompt, and OpenAI responds to us back with that specific sentence, and we can then reuse it within Yoast SEO to update the post dynamically and use the suggestion to write content faster within WordPress. I will just demonstrate by customizing the title to something like WooCommerce. And when I click Update Now, we will basically send that specific data through our workflow to OpenAI. And OpenAI will then create that meta description for us dynamically, and we will paste it back within that specific meta description field. So after I scroll down, you can see, learn how to quickly and easily install the popular WooCommerce plugin for your e-commerce store. So this one was created dynamically within OpenAI using the WP Webhooks workflow. Now as a little bonus, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of the double quotes that sometimes appear within the sentence of OpenAI if you don't want to adjust them directly within OpenAI by defining it within the action settings. Because basically you can add something within the, within the sentence that you don't want to have double quotes at the end of the sentence. However, if you leave it like this, you can also use something that we call the WP Webhooks formatter, which is this specific integration. So I'll just click install, and we can use that one to manipulate the sentence that we get back from OpenAI, and then we can update that result within Yoast SEO. So to do that, I don't, any, I don't change anything within the OpenAI integration, and so now I will see the WP Webhooks formatter. So we are selecting that one, and within here I search for trim, which allows us basically to trim characters at the beginning, at the end of the string. And what we want to do is we want to remove any kind of spaces. So I add one space and we want to remove any kind of quotes. So this is the characters we are going to remove and we want to remove them from the string that we got back from OpenAI. So I'm just going to select in here the text element and now I click continue and save fields. So after you can just fire that again to test it and you will see that the string will come back without the double quotes. Right now it was anyways without double quotes, so we don't see a change here. But in case it comes back with double quotes and with spaces, all of these spaces will be trimmed away from the beginning and the end of the string. Then you can click Finish Action, and after that's done, you can click in the Yoast SEO integration, open the action settings, and within the description, instead of using it now from the OpenAI, we use it directly from the webhook formatter, which is in here. So this ensures that the trim string will be used when updating that specific values from OpenAI. And we can either fire it again, but since I already did, already did it, I can also fetch it from the log data. So let's say we use this one, finish action, and that's it. It's anyway active, so I'm just gonna save it and everything is done. This is for giving you a small idea of what you can do with the OpenAI integration in combination with WP Webhooks Pro. So there are many use cases that you can actually use to enhance your quality and your performance in certain tasks for creating content, for creating specific titles, summaries of something or whatsoever. You can basically feed the OpenAI through our plugin any kinds of information within the prompts or within any of their other models. And you also can use it to create images. That's it for now. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and you get the hang of how powerful WP Webhooks actually is and what you can do with it in regards to automation in combination with AI. And if you should have any further questions, we are always happy to hear from you. And for now, we hope you have an amazing time with recreating this tutorial.